The Ace Attorney series is one that has achieved an astronomical level of success. You wouldn't think a courtroom game series would be so entertaining, but it works really well. The Ace Attorney trilogy is played and loved by many. It's how most people become fans of the series, and it's after this point where people wonder where to go next. While you could play the Investigations duology, a lot of people go to Apollo Justice. This is a very rational choice, as it's the game after Trials and Tribulations if we go by order of release. However, this is also where the fanbase becomes divided. Apollo Justice is a controversial game. It's a fresh start with a bunch of new characters, but its biggest controversy comes from the return of the one and only Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright's character has changed quite a bit over 7 years. He is no longer a lawyer and the game explores how he lost that position. Many hate this. He went from a great lawyer at the end of Trials and Tribulations to all of that glory being taken away just a few months after. Many also don't like the reasoning behind why his badge got taken. In Case 4 of Apollo Justice, we get to experience this for ourselves. Phoenix defends his client, but unintentionally presents forged evidence. This was enough for his career to be over. Some say Phoenix was stupid for accepting random evidence from a little girl. Some say it doesn't make sense for him to lose his badge, as Edgeworth unintentionally presented forged evidence in the past. And some argue that his connections with the characters from the original trilogy should have been enough to get his badge back much earlier. But again, this is just one camp of people. On the flip side, there are people who love Hobo Phoenix. They think it's a fresh direction for the character. They think it would be stale to have the OG trilogy Phoenix once again, and this is a sensible way to develop him further. They like his mentor role, they like his change in personality, and they enjoy his tragic tale of disbarment. Obviously, many of us will fall in the middle of these two camps, but I'm just showing why Apollo Justice is such a controversial game. And this is just reason number one. While this is probably the biggest source of division among the fans, the new characters and cases are also somewhat polarizing. First, let's look at our protagonist, Apollo Justice. The biggest complaint I see with Apollo is that it doesn't feel like it's his game. He constantly gets overshadowed by Phoenix. In the two major story related cases, it feels like Apollo is just there for the ride, with Phoenix being the one who controls everything. Even though Kristoff is Apollo's mentor, it seems like they don't have too much of a connection, and the focus is mainly on Kristoff versus Phoenix. However, some really like Apollo, and think he's a fun character personality wise. They like his more youthful and aggressive energy. They think it's a nice change of pace from Trilogy Phoenix, and we can say the same about the new prosecutor, Clavier Gavin. Clavier Gavin is yet another change from the usual trend. Prosecutors tend to be very antagonistic and want to do whatever it takes to win, but Clavier is a friendly person who is here to seek the truth. Once again, some people hate this, and some love it. The cases also get some hate, but I think the main one that gets hate due to experimentation is Turnbut Succession. Turnbut Succession does not follow the typical case structure, and this was a very risky move since it's the final case. The final cases are what a lot of people deem to be the best part of an Ace Attorney game, but Turnbut Succession does not follow the same formula laid out by the trilogy. It starts with a standard full day of one investigation and one trial, but after that, we go straight into another trial which is the controversial Phoenix Wright flashback, and then we go to the Mason system, which is a more complex version of an investigation segment, and this takes up a decent portion of the case. Finally, we finish off with a very short trial segment to end the game. This will catch a lot of people off guard, and some people won't like it, but you know what I'm gonna say, some people will still love it. The main point is that Apollo Justice has many new ideas. It steps out of the Ace Attorney comfort zone and experiments with the formula. And from my experience, if any series departs from a specific formula that they set, there will be some haters no matter what. Look at the Pokemon series for example. It is constantly changing and there's always a massive portion of fans left unsatisfied because of it. People were hating on Generation 4, saying all the new changes have ruined the series. And now with these newer generations, 
people are saying the game should be like Generation 4 because those games did it right. It's just this long chain of dissatisfaction, and I think that's kind of what we're seeing here. You will always get hate with unfamiliarity, and I think that's what we experienced with Apollo Justice. But it doesn't end there. When it was time to return to the main series, we ended up with something completely different once again. Dual Destinies is another game with many changes. It seemed like many fans from the Japanese audience wanted Phoenix back in court, and so the fifth mainline entry would make Phoenix Wright the star of the show. Not only that, they reverted his personality back to the OG trilogy Phoenix, he doesn't have the calm and collected persona we saw in Apollo Justice, and while this appeased the people who hated AJ, those that loved AJ despised the changes. Because not only do they change Phoenix once again, they introduce another attorney to the mix, Athena Sykes. With the story of Dual Destinies mostly focusing on Athena, and most of the cases being led by Phoenix, a lot of Apollo fans got mad because it felt like he got shafted to the side. He only gets one full case, and they make it the filler case. He does get some backstory, but a lot of people feel it was poorly implemented with no impact. The other characters in AJ also get sidelined. Trucy is barely in the game. I actually haven't played the DLC case in Duel Destinies, but as far as the main game goes, she makes some panty jokes, gets kidnapped, and that's about it. It seems like she would play a role in case 2 as she's friends with Jinxie Tenma, but she leaves Jinxie with Apollo and Athena, and that's that. We also get Clavier who returns to act out a mock trial, but that's about it. Again, his involvement is minimal. You could say that Clavier doesn't need to do much as he's not the main prosecutor of the game, but Apollo Justice fans wanted the new game to feel like a continuation. They wanted the AJ characters to have a lot of focus. Think of Edgeworth in JFA. He's not the main prosecutor, but is very prominent and continues his story from AA1. Dual Destinies does not do this. Past plot points like Apollo and Trucy being siblings are just left in the dust. Instead, DD seems like it was made to hedge people's happiness. If people didn't like Apollo Justice, they get a gift in Dual Destinies. If people loved Apollo Justice, well, hopefully they'll still like DD because Phoenix comes back, but even if they do hate it, we can call it even. DD fans already got a game they didn't like, and now AJ fans have their turn for a game they may not like. And because of the split opinion with both games, they are definitely some of the lower ranked games when it comes to popularity. And then there's Spirit of Justice, which has its own controversies, but we'll talk about that some other day. For now, what do you guys think? Do you still think there's a big divide in the fanbase today? Are you in the AJ camp? Are you in the DD camp? Or do you like both a lot? Or perhaps you dislike both a lot? I'm interested to know. Comment your thoughts down below, check out my case review series of the Great Ace Attorney Duology and Justice For All, I'll link those below, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all for the next video. Goodbye.